This video will demonstrate how to prepare and apply a rubber dam. To prepare the rubber dam, you will need the following items. A rubber dam frame, a rubber dam clamp, the rubber dam punch, the clamp forceps, a flat plastic instrument, wedgets, dental floss, and ideally a stamped rubber dam sheet. First take the rubber dam punch. The punch has a dial with holes that correspond to the different sizes of the teeth. Select the hole you need. Make sure the punch is free from any rubber dam. Ensure the punch aligns well. Take the rubber dam. Select the tooth you want. Align the hole with the marking on the rubber dam. Press down, making sure the punch goes all the way through the dam. The rubber dam is matte on one side and shiny on the other. The matte side should be facing up. Stretch out the holes. Push the teeth through the holes. Use the dental floss to push the dam below the contact. Use the wedget to stabilise the rubber dam. The arm of the clamp should be facing posteriorly. Insert the forceps through the holes in the clamp. Place the clamp around the tooth. The beaks of the clamp should be on the tooth only. Do not place the clamp on the gums. Next, take the rubber dam frame. The frame has a curve and it should rest over the chin. The open end should point towards the upper jaw. Stretch the rubber dam around the spikes. If the rubber dam is covering the nose, cut the excess off so that the patient can breathe. The dam should be centralised over the mouth and the frame should lie over the chin. Now invert the margins around the teeth using a flat plastic instrument. Push the dam so that the edges are facing towards the gums. To remove the rubber dam, first remove the wedget by pulling it through the interproximal and not snapping it through the contact. Remove the clamp with the forceps. Separate the prongs and pull away from the mouth. Then remove the frame. Pull the rubber dam so that you can see the interdental sector. Cut away the interdental sector using a pair of scissors. Hold the dam from the other side and gently remove it from the contacts. Make sure the mouth is free from any rubber dam.